What's up, guys? Chris, Duck Lope Outdoors. So, it's May now. Well past duck season. I didn't upload really any footage from this past season just because, uh, for one, with it being a terrible migration, um, a lot of the WMAs were just not producing unless if you were just in the right spot. Um, weather didn't get cold enough until we had that big freeze and we only had one, one big freeze. So, um, when the weather got cold, I mean, it got decent. Um, and then towards the end, it wasn't, wasn't that bad. So I think I managed to scratch out, I think I shot in the sixties, uh, total ducks this past season, which is terrible compared to the last one. If you followed, followed my hunts from there, but, um, I won't be yapping too much. I will just say this is just a lot of clips that I had throughout the end, um, throughout the season. I just I just saved and collected them all up. Um, Cash is doing a whole lot better um, towards the end of the season, which you'll see the clip. Um, he got his first goose retrieve. I think he was like six months old, six or eight months old um, at the time. He's about to turn one here within the next week. Um, that one, I don't know, it's kind of special. I tried to find a clip of him going out there and getting it. Um, I couldn't find it, but he did, uh, chase it down. Bird was more than half alive, um, and brought that back. And then earlier in the season, which I couldn't find that clip either, uh, he managed to pick up a wood duck, a gadwall, he got a mallard retrieve, um, all in one hunt. Um, but as for his training, like he's just straight meat dog really at the end of the day. Um, I'm not worried about hand signals or anything like that more. So as soon as I shoot, I'll send him and have him go get it. He's really good at finding stuff. That's what I've mainly been training him on. So I can go out here in the backyard and, um, you know, throw a duck down in the woods while he's up here in the yard and whole, um, We'll run out there and he'll, he'll find it and bring it back. So really at the end of the day, um, if I drop one in the woods, in the weeds, corn, something like that, I know that he'll, you know, he'll be able to go find it. Um, besides that, that's about it. Hopefully you all like all these clips. Um, and it's really not, not much to, not much to brag about, not much to show from this past season, but, um, I've been cranking out the taxidermy. So if you dropped off a duck to me. I'm working on them. I just uh, skinned two this morning, and I got another two to skin this evening. Uh, what else? That's about it. But if you're here for the taxidermy videos, I am currently working on three different videos right now. So I just got to get done with the project, so then that way I can edit and upload and all that good stuff. But I just got to find the time to be able to edit, edit them. Um, I was fortunate enough this morning to have some time to edit this one, but all right, I've been yapping for three minutes now. So, all right, I'll see y'all at the end.
nuts. <laughs> I got a whole group of ducks out there, right in front of me, right over there, on the other side of that bank. They came in so fast, I didn't see them. I think they're all gadwalls, though. I think. Got that one. A teal. Look at that. He's pretty. Nice. Well, he's getting to learn some patience. That's the way we want them. All these fucking ducks, and not one of them want to fly over this way. Look at all this. This is wild. I don't get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got him. Mm-hmm. Did you shoot Chris? Yeah. Big old fat Drake. <laughs>
kill him. We kill it? Nope. Yeah, she's dead now. He's tired and wet. <laughs> Went back there to the back creek. Jumped up two. Shot one. That one was swimming away. I had to shoot him while Cash was trying to go out there after him. Um, so it was probably a total of 80 yard retrieve. Nine months old. First geese. Now, if y'all know the boat that I run, um, I used to have a, it was like a 1436 flat bottom. Um, had the long tail on it, switched over to the Johnson 9.9, ran that for a season and a half. Um, and now I got a new boat, as you just saw. Um, it's a V bottom, so I'm gonna try that out around here. Uh, I think it's still 14 feet. It's a little bit wider than my last one. And this one has a Johnson, I think 30 on it or 25 it's either 25 or 30 but we took it out it was choppy out there on old hick um so i couldn't even couldn't even really go full throttle with it but um especially having a little one with me i didn't want to be dangerous or anything like that but just uh just at a half throttle i was doing i think 32 miles an hour so that thing was it was pushing it was pretty fast so we'll see what happens when it comes uh closer to the season when i get scouting I'll get out there on a calm day and go full throttle with it, see how, see how fast it go. Um, but if you know me, I'm not really that big on speed because uh, I have no reason to race anybody. I'm just going to beat you to the hole anyway just because I wake up at midnight and I'm at the ramp at 2, so I'm the first one to back in. And I'm just sitting there waiting until I can launch, so um, really no, no need to go fast. Um, but yeah. I'm going to continue cranking out these ducks for taxidermy. I'll show y'all real fast of, um, what I got going on here. I had a whole bunch of ducks picked up from my last short, if you watch my shorts. Um, but I got canvas back done that Mallard is from the last pack. I got the uh, snow goose done, which uh, is white. And then uh, I got this green wing teal. Pretty wood duck, he's banded. Um, let's see, I got a speck done. Got the gadwall, mallard, and widgeon all done. I got this dead mount, they're drying. And then a wood duck on the antler, it's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, that's this batch right here, so it's all drying up. All the other stuff is getting skinned right now. So if you're into taxidermy um, and having question on how I do it I've been doing it in groups so I'll do my flesh skin wash um, or my skin flesh wash in groups of about eight um, once I get them all done I'll take the feet that's when I inject them get them molded to whatever if they're standing on something or getting positioned position where you know if they're flying um, I'll inject them dry them wait until they lose color um, and then that's when I'll go ahead and paint them. And then once they're painted and the habitat's done, because I do all that all at the same time, uh, that's when I go back into my mounting process. And once they're all mounted and they're drying, then that's when I go back into my skinning. So it just, uh, I feel like that's the easiest process for me. So, and right now I'm, I got six or five, I think five in the freezer right now already skinned. So I've been just cranking at it, but... If y'all uh, if y'all have made it this far in a video, I appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment. Let me know 
where you're watching from, um, what you think about the beard. My wife hates it, but um, I don't know. It's something different. Like I always say, I've been Chris. That's been Duckalope Outdoors. Y'all stay safe out there.